Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How you doing? You alright? Now, five years ago, I made a video. It was entitled, How much does it cost to get a HTV license and how do you go about getting one? It was a video where I broke down bit by bit each module that you do and explained just roughly how much it costs to actually, you know, do it. Uh, well, now, five years later, I've decided to revisit the subject, go through the uh, information with you one more time, give you more up-to-date information, uh, and let you know exactly how much it costs to get your HCV license in the year 2021, and how you go about doing it. This is the Luke C in a HCV 2021 edition. How much does it cost to get your HCV license, and how do you get one? Stay tuned. Okay, so straight out of the bat, I just want to say that the information I'm giving you today has come directly from the .gov.uk website, so the information I'm giving you is 100% correct. Uh, if you want to go check it out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below, uh, but if you want to listen to me talk about it, then carry on watching this video. Uh, before you even apply for your provisional HDV license, you need to be 18 years old or over, and you must already hold a Category B license. That's a car license. As long as you've got both those things, then you can apply for a provisional HDV license. Applying for a provisional HDV license. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to go to the .gov.uk website. You need to request that the DVLA sends you both D2 and D4 forms. The D2 form is a form that you fill in yourself with you know, you know your personal information, your driving license, you know all of that good stuff. The D4 form is the uh, what I would call the important form. It's the form that needs to be filled in by a medical expert. Now this can either be your own personal GP via the NHS, or you can go privately uh, and pay someone to actually do it for you. In my experience, it costs less to go privately. As weird as that sounds um, I've been looking around on uh, different websites and different um, companies around me in the Swindon area and they vary between 48 pounds and sort of 55 pounds um, and you know that's that's not too bad compared to when I asked my GP it was well over a hundred quid so uh, personally I would recommend you to do that privately just type in drivers medical and Google and it'll come up with um, people around you nearby that can do it but it's, it's around about the 50 pound mark I would say. Once both forms are filled in correctly, you need to send it off to the DVLA in Swansea. It takes about three weeks for you to get your license back, and then you can go and do your theory. Driver CPC part one test, the theory. The test is made of two parts, multiple choice and hazard perception. You have to book both parts separately, but you can take them both on the same day. It doesn't matter which one you take first, but you do need to both pass within two years of each other. Okay, so how do the tests work? So as I've said, there's two tests. You've got multiple choice and the hazard perception. I'm gonna call them part 1A and part 1B. Part 1A is the multiple choice. The multiple choice questions part lasts for about one hour, 55 minutes, and the pass mark is 85 out of 100 questions. It will cost you 26 pounds to book that test. Part 1B is the hazard perception test, and it costs only £11. You'll watch 19 videos, and there are 20 developing hazards to spot. The pass mark is 67 out of 100, and you'll be given a letter at the end of the test with the results for the theory you've just taken. When you have passed both tests, your HTV theory certificate will be posted to you. Driver CPC Part 2 test case studies, and this one costs £23. How does it work? Well, the test is made up of seven case studies you work through on a computer. The case studies are short stories based on situations that you're likely to come across in your working life. You'll be asked between six and eight multiple choice questions on each case study. The test lasts for one hour, 15 minutes, and the pass mark is 40 out of 50. Driver CPC, part three, driving ability. Now, this is where the fun starts. This is where you actually go out and start driving a truck. Now, obviously, prices range depending on who you go with uh, and what they charge. Uh, I'm always going to give a shout out to the people that I trained with myself in Swindon, which is Truck School Swindon. A link again, link is in the description down below. Now, on their website, they're advertising a four day course with the test being on the fifth day, so there's no gap between. I realized I did that wrong then. Four day, a four day training course with the test on the fifth day, uh, so there's no gap between um, training and test. Uh, it's £900 plus VAT, which I've done the calculation, is £1,080. Uh, and then you pay the £115 test fee on top of that as well. So it comes to a total of 
£195. That is for the four day course of training with your test on the fifth day. So how does the driving ability test actually work? Your practical test will last for about one hour and 30 minutes. You'll have vehicle safety questions, practical road driving, off-road exercises, and vehicle safety questions. You will pass your test if you have 15 or fewer minors, and if you have zero majors. After you've taken your practical exam, the examiner will let you know if you pass and give you feedback on how you did. Driver CPC part four, practical demonstration. Now this is also known as Mod 4, which is shortened for Module 4. Uh, if you go via Swindon Truck School, which is the company I use, they are currently charging £257. Now that is for the training itself. They will teach you on uh, all the processes that you need to learn to know to pass a test. And then the, uh, the test as well is included in that price, £257. To pass, you must achieve at least a score of 15 out of 20 in each topic and have an overall score of 80 out of 100. And that's it, you passed all four of the tests. You are now a qualified HDV driver. Uh, you will be sent your driver CBC card in the post. It can take up to 20 days for that to arrive, so just bear that in mind. The only other thing you need to do now is get your driver TACO card. It costs 19 pounds to purchase one of them. A link is in the description down below on how to apply for one of them. That's it, you're a HDV driver. Welcome to the world of HDV driving. <laughs> Uh, one thing to bear in mind though is that this was um, assuming that you had got your car license and you were applying for your category C license which is your uh, class 2 as it's known in the industry. If you've already got your class 2 license you want to go for your class 1 license you don't have to do your theories all over again all you've got to do is the part 3 practical demonstration again Truck School Swindon if you go over to their website you can see that they can do the course for you over there. So there we have it. Thanks for watching this video I do appreciate it hopefully you've had uh, a good time watching and you've learned something today uh, it's five years ago like I said since I did the last video so I thought I would uh, revisit it and uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks for watching until next time drive safe stay safe and I will see you soon bye bye